How successful have you and your uh, and, and other telecoms companies been in re-establishing the uh, telecoms network in Haiti? Uh, we've made a lot of progress um, over the last week. Um, at this stage, approximately 85% um, service has been restored. And in the Port-au-Prince area in particular, uh, we're over 70%. Um, so, you know, we've been focused on getting equipment, getting personnel, getting supplies in. And we brought in 10 cargo planes full of equipment. So we've been working, you know, strenuously around the clock to ensure that we get communication back up and running. How important, though, is communication? I mean, what we hear about a lot is the lack of medical assistance, lack of uh, basic medical supplies like morphine, you know, bandages, gauze, all that kind of thing. Uh, is telecommunication so important in this situation? It's vital, you know, it's vital for the whole coordination um, of the aid, of the search and rescue, of the assistance that at this stage, you know, that the people of Haiti um, are crying out for aid. And, you know, I must say that, you know, we're seeing some great progress in that front. So, you know, to enable the effective distribution of aid, uh, communication is absolutely vital. It's also vital for the, the people of Haiti to make sure that they can communicate with friends, families, you know, ensure their well-being. Um, so, you know, it's, it's an integral part of the whole uh, aid process uh, for Haiti. I think there are a lot of stories doing the rounds about how people managed to uh, send texts and say that they were trapped or make uh, mobile calls out of pockets in, in, in collapsed buildings and, and bring rescuers to them. Uh, are you hearing that that kind of thing has been going on to any great extent? We are. You know, we're hearing of people who've been trapped in rubble who've been still sending text messages. Um, and, you know, I, I think that's, that's tremendous. Um, you know, it enables search and rescue teams to identify where there's potentially um, people that still can be saved. Um, you know, well, one of the things that we did is that we gave all our customers um, credit on their phone. So, you know, even if they were without credit, we, we gave $10 million worth of credit to ensure that they could still keep communicating, uh, even if they didn't have any more money left on their cell phone. Um, that so, in conjunction with so the code. That, that sounds like it, like a great idea. What happens next? I mean, what, what is it that you need? Uh, do you need help with it? Uh, what are your priorities at this point now going forward? Our priority is to restore full service. Uh, and as I said, we're working around the clock to do that. Um, we've increased our international links, so the international traffic um, is, is functioning um, at, at a rate that's much higher than it was pre-earthquake. Uh, we're also bringing in a lot of mobile cell sites. Uh, they're arriving, some are in-country, more will be arriving over the weekend to ensure that we get the best possible communication under the circumstances here.